Sorry. And and so so my question to you, Abu Ibrahim, is we have a lot of women, all right, subhanAllah, who are flaunting themselves on social media. Yeah. What would your advice to be to those those sisters, especially Muslim girls, right now on uh, on what's this new app that just came out, TikTok? And now yeah. some of them are complaining about jinn possession, evil eye, and, and certain things like that. So what's your advice to those sisters and you know from the from the from the general mass? So uh, I think firstly uh, from a general a general like advice we have to ask our sisters what are you hoping to achieve mm -hmm. by your action <laughs> mm -hmm. what's your intention here what what are you hoping to achieve here okay mm -hmm. uh, and and what goodness is going to come out of this what you're what you're doing mm -hmm. here that's the first thing so be and be honest with yourself you know there's no point uh, trying to fool yourself the worst of the fools <laughs> is the one who tries to fool himself because you yeah. can't fool Allah wa Allah, so that's Allah. not out of the question the, uh, the worst one is the one who he believes his own lies to his own self subhanallah so as uh, you know my first advice is sisters be honest with yourself what are you trying to achieve by um dancing and we have sisters as well now uh you know uh dressing up in the you know in the jilbab and the bright colors mm -hmm. and then the makeup faces and everything. Mm -hmm. what are you trying to achieve here you know what what goodness can come out of disobeying allah and his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa so mm -hmm. what what's the, what what's your aim and your objective here the second thing that i would say is from experience there was a sister who used to make uh, um eyebrow plucking tutorials eyebrow tutorials because so, you know now uh, the women what they do is they they pluck their eyebrows uh, I, you know don't ask me how i know this but i know it so what they do yeah. is they pluck their eyebrows and then they pencil their eyebrows in okay mm -hmm. so uh in arabic it's called, it's called mm -hmm. go ahead Shere. yeah so, mm -hmm. so they make their eyebrows look thicker than what they are um, mm -hmm. and then on top of that they then put the eyeliner on and they have tutorials doing this so a sister comes to me now and says that my videos online, they had millions of views on YouTube. This was before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guided this sister, right? But look at look at the damage now. So the channel that she did it with, millions of views. Allah then guided her, she corrected her hijab and she, you know, she maintained the correct haya and the, and the, you know, the shyness and the modesty of a Muslim woman. But the problem was when she when she asked the channel to take that down, mm -hmm. the channel refused. They said, this is our property now. We, you know, we paid you for it. This is our content, number one. Number two, other people had saved that video, had re-uploaded it all over the internet. So even if the main channel is da down, it's been circulated so much over so many different channels, you can't do it. There's too, it's too many different sources. Mm -hmm. The sister then said she has now got major gin problems, major issues with her skin. She has put on huge amounts of weight. She, you know, there's days where she can't even get out of bed. Okay. And she has a, a problem with Ain. And this all started after those videos, they started to go up. Another thing, number two, the jinn, the jinn, they can fall in love with a person the same way a man can fall in love with a person. And I had, I, I, I made Rukia over multiple sisters whom the jinn had fallen in love with uh, the sister. So one of the, one of the sisters that uh, I made Rukia over, she was standing outside of a Gurdwara, which is like a, a Sikh place of worship. Okay. Oh, and, and and she was standing there, but she was waiting for the bus, okay? But she was not in the correct hijab. And the jinn fell in love with uh, the sister as a result of that. So the jinn fell in love with the sister and possessed the sister uh, as a result of her not observing the correct hijab. And there's multiple stories that I could tell you. And... And, and that type of possession, which is a, as a result of uh, like this ishk and this type of like uh, sexual type of lo uh, attraction, that type of possession is usually very, very difficult to treat because it's a strong type of possession where the jinn says, I will not leave. You're going to have to kill me. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. So our advice is, sisters, do not post on social media your faces, your bodies. That should only be for your husband. 
right? That should only be for your husband, and nobody else should be looking at you. And Allah says in the Quran, "Wala yubedina zina tahunna." Uh, do not display your adornment, uh, you know, to those people that are not ha- halal for you. Allahu Akbar. So, Sheikh Abu Ibrahim, uh, 